Hi, I'm Kerry Lavelle, the founding partner of Lavelle Law. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the things that you need to know about maintaining great client relationships. As you understand, the client relationship is the most fundamental aspect of building a practice and being successful over the long run. With respect to having great client uh, relationships, I kind of break the entire process down into three categories. The first is the initial introduction to the client. The next is when dealing with the client throughout the client matter, whether it be a case or a transaction. And the third is what you do with the client post relationship or post case to maintain the relationship for the long term. The first part of that is the initial uh, contact with the client. You know the old adage, you only get one chance to make a good first impression applies with clients too. Think about it, when a client comes into your office or meets you for the first time, how do they perceive you? Is the office free of clutter? Is it professional? Are you dressed professionally? Do you meet the standards that the clients have come to expect when meeting their attorney for the first time? You only got one chance and it has to be done the right way. The second part of the client relationship is the part that takes place after you've been hired and you start working for the client, whether it be a business transaction, a real estate transaction, or a court case where you're involved in uh, drafting pleadings and going to court for the client. Throughout this time, you need to keep the client in absolute uh, information stage at every part of that engagement. The client should be copied on every single document that you've prepared, everything you receive, every brief you prepared, all the court filings, and the court orders that are issued by the court. The client pays us a lot of money to represent them, and they deserve to have all this information as the case or the transaction moves forward. Keep in mind that their input is greatly needed in both of these type of engagements. So you want to keep the client involved. Uh, there's been a lot of studies on this over the years, and uh, it is undisputable that the clients dislike and cannot stand not being communicated and being part of the communication process uh, throughout their case. It's even more important to clients than actually winning and losing the case. The clients want to be part of it, and they deserve to be, uh, have all the knowledge of their case as the transaction go, goes forward. Another point that's important as part of the ongoing uh, client relationship is respecting your client. Respecting your client also means listening to your client. Uh, young attorneys oftentimes coming out of great undergrad schools and going to law school, they uh, tend to believe that they have a lot of information that they want to convey on a regular basis. Uh, please, please listen to your client carefully and respect them. Whether they're the CFO of a big corporation or a young family coming in with debt problems, uh, respect them, listen to them, empathize with where they're at in their uh, legal issue, and try to help them. After the client case or transaction is done, you still have an obligation to keep your client informed of the law. Uh, we do that in a couple of different ways with newsletters, email blasts, and we want to stay in front of that client so we have a lifetime relationship with the client. Uh, oftentimes, we assign clients to certain attorneys or partners in the firm to be the relationship manager. It would be that relationship manager's responsibility to reach out to the client once or twice a year to say, how's it going? Here are some new laws that may affect your business or your personal life. And just to remind them that you are their lawyer, whether it be the business lawyer or the family lawyer, you should have every reason to feel comfortable contacting them on a regular basis to make sure that you're doing the things that are in the best interest of the client. Thanks so much for viewing this video. If you have any other questions or need more information on building great client relationships, please take a look at my book, The Business Guide to Law, Creating and Operating a Successful Law Practice. In addition, check out my solo and small firm presentations in the ISBA's online CLE archive. Thank you.